Hey what's up guys along here, so today I want to talk about a neat trick that you can use as Doomfist that makes you way more agile and it enables you to get to places you normally would have to walk a long path to get to, but you can get there really fast with this tactic. If a random Doomfist would appear on the high ground that you're setting up on or behind you when you don't really expect it to be there, then he can get a free pick very easily. So as you can see in the video on the different clips I'm showing, I'm using my rocket punch to launch myself in the air, then to seismic slam to another area that I want to get to. This saves me my rising uppercut that I would normally have to use to get to the high ground so that when I eventually get there where I want to go, I can uppercut an enemy for a nice pick. Alright, so how do you perform this? When you rocket punch as Doomfist, you can cancel the punch effect by jumping before you hit the target. If you hit the target without jumping, you're just going to stop at the target and hit it. But if you jump, it's going to cancel the animation. This still gives you the momentum of the fist, meaning that you will still go forward a bit after jumping. So essentially what you need to do is jump to cancel the hit effect just before you hit the object that you want to launch yourself up from. You also need the object that you're going to be launching yourself at to be kind of round or has like a upwards look to it, so like a roof, that's really good, it's like a ramp, so you just go with the force of the fist and you just fly straight upwards after. But let me give you three different scenarios to make it as clear as I can because I do understand that this is very confusing. Two of them does not work and one does work. If you understand all these three scenarios you will be able to practice this mechanic and get really good at it. So the first example is going to be you standing looking at the object you want to use to fly up with. You charge your fist and then as soon as you start going towards the target you jump and cancel the animation. What's going to happen is you're not going to have enough force when you get to the object that you're just going to hit the object and just fall down instantly. You're not going to get any force flying upwards, you're just going to stay at the ground. The second example that also doesn't work is if you just charge your fist and you just go straight at the target without cancelling the animation at all. So you basically don't jump or you jump way too late when you already hit the target. What's going to happen is you're simply just going to hit the target and that's it. Now the case where this does work, so the example you should be going for is you charge your fist, you're going at the target and just before you hit the target you jump. So you cancel the animation just before the animation of you hitting the actual target goes in. So you jump, cancel the animation and with all that speed that you have from launching your fist you're going to just launch straight up into the air and from there you can go wherever you want with your seismic slam. So yeah that's going to do it for this video. By the way some of the parts on the maps are pretty easy to do this on, typically like rooftops and all that, but the ones on Eichenwald on the small stone pillars, that's like blocks of stone that's laid upon each other, those are pretty hard. You can go back to the start of this video and look at those. That's actually kind of hard to do those parts, but if you just practice them you will get used to the mechanic and it sh you should be good to go. But basically that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and informative and all that. And if you are doing this mainly let me know if you already knew this or you didn't. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Consider subscribing if you want to. And uh, yeah, goodbye.